Hi, Green Lake Dragons. Anna here, your vocal music teacher. Welcome to the new school year and welcome to our first vocal music lesson. I'd like to start out by singing a short welcome song. Maybe those of you who have been at Green Lake for a while might remember it. And maybe some of you heard it last week on my introduction video on Seesaw. But if you haven't heard it yet, um, enjoy. This song is sung in the Arabic language. It's called Ahlan Wasakhalan. Ahlan Wasakhalan is a greeting. It's a very warm way to welcome somebody as if they're family, as if you would say, make yourself at home. You're just like family. So to my Green Lake family, welcome. Ahalan was Ahalan. 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 What did you notice about that song right away? Was I singing up high in my voice or was it a little bit lower? What do you think? Was the tempo or the speed faster or slower? How did the song make you feel? There's no right or wrong answer. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sing it again. And um, I wanna point out first though, one thing that I notice about the song right away is that there's always an echo or a repeat. So the first line is, Ahalan was Ahalan. And then it gets repeated. Ahalan was Ahalan. Then the next part is, Ahalan was Ahalan. And guess what? It gets repeated. Ahalan was Ahalan. So that's kind of the pattern within the song is um, it can be thought of as like an echo. And I would like to ask you to be my echo and we'll do it again together. If you're not in the mood to sing right now, that is okay. You don't have to sing right now if you don't want to. Um, I am going to ask though, in all of our vocal music lessons, uh, that you try your very best, whether that means singing or actively listening, or maybe just tapping along to the beat. So if you um, aren't in the mood for singing, that's okay. There's plenty of other ways to learn and enjoy. Let's add a nice steady beat this time. For those of you who are singing, or maybe playing an instrument, you can, you can do whatever you want right now. <laughs> um, those of you who are singing, Get ready to echo me. Here I go. Ahalan wasahalan. Your turn. Ahalan wasahalan. My turn. Ahalan wasahalan. Your turn. Ahalan wasahalan. Now we'll do it one more time. Ahalan wasahalan. Ahalan wasahalan. Ahalan wasahalan. Welcome. Maybe you've noticed now I'm wearing different clothes and I'm sitting in a different room. Sometimes I record these videos over the course of a couple days. Did you know that you get two music teachers at Green Lake? Me and Mr. Kunkel? If you're in fourth or fifth grade, maybe you even have a third music teacher at Green Lake, Mr. Dugdale, 
the instrumental music teacher. So let's talk a little bit about how my class is different from the other music classes. This is a vocal music class. What does that word vocal mean? What does vocal refer to? I'll give you a hint. If you're not sure, it's a musical instrument. Our voice. Voice music. So singing. Not only will we sing a lot of songs together, learn about how the voice works and how to make it stronger, using our breath, being silly with our voices, learning lots of songs, but we, of course, will also explore other aspects of music, like keeping a beat. To be a singer or a vocalist, you need to have a good sense of rhythm. So you, you'll need to be able to keep a beat. So sometimes I do things that might be similar to Mr. Kunkel. What I'd like us to do now is just move our bodies a little bit. Get our body kind of comfortable and warmed up and get our brains engaged. So this is a shakedown counting activity. And one thing I want to mention is that at the end of the activity, each time we do it, you'll hear me say the word rest. This is our resting position. If we have instruments or if we don't, if we aren't playing instruments with our hands, rest. In music, the word rest means literally to give rest. So it means silence or pause. If you're looking at written music, there's a way to write a rest, which I'll do another time. And if you're reading the music on the page, if you're reading the notes on the page, when you come to the rest, you won't make any music. You'll be silent. So I'll use the word rest sometimes at the end of an activity or the end of a song. And it's really helpful for this little warm up, the shakedown, as we count backwards while we shake our hands. Okay, so get your hands out. You can do this standing if you want to shake your whole body. Um, if you're sitting, if you're really mellow today and you're lying down, you can shake any part of your body, but I'm going to demonstrate with my hands. And you don't have to shake your hands like I am. You can do it like this, you can do it like this, however you like. But we're going to start by counting backwards from eight. So we're not gonna start just yet. I'll just give you a quick example. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then without stopping, we're gonna start again um, at one number less than eight. So we'll start at seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, one, rest. Okay, did you get that? So we start by counting backwards from eight. And then without taking a break, when we get to one, we start counting again, but from seven, and then six, and then five. Maybe we should try it a little bit slower together. So figure out what part of your body you want to shake or move, um, or maybe even use drumsticks or something to tap. That'd be fun too. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, one, rest. Let's try a little faster. Ready for it? Okay. I encourage you, if you haven't yet, to count out loud with me. Um, it, it, it gets a little bit crazy. Sometimes my tongue gets a little bit twisted. Um, let's take a, a really nice, deep breath together. <sighs> 
one more if you're standing sitting lying down however you're enjoying this <sighs> okay find something to shake hands tapping one two ready go eight seven six five four three two one seven six five four three two one six five four three two one five four three two one four three two one three two one two one one rest okay one more time even faster one two one two three four eight seven six five four Three, two, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, one, rest. Nice job. <laughs> Feel free to pause the video and take a drink of water if you need to. Wiggle, get up, move around, and then come back and start the video. Human beings are so lucky because we have a musical instrument that's part of our body that we get to take with us wherever we go. Do you know what musical instrument I'm talking about? Our voice. That's right. Our voice is a musical instrument. We're going to be talking about that a lot. And stay tuned for next week when we learn about how the voice works and um, why it, it actually is a musical instrument. I'd like to sing one more welcome song to you this week. It's called Fanga Alafia. It's an African song and it was written in the 1960s by an African drummer. Let's talk about the words Fanga Alafia. Fanga is a word in a word from Liberia. Liberia is a country in Africa that means welcome dance. So there's a special dance and rhythm that's called fanga. F A N G A. Fanga. The second word alafia means peace. So to say fanga alafia, it basically means I welcome you with peace. The other word you'll hear in the song is ashe. Ashe, ashe. And ashe, ashe means let it be so. So when you put all those words together, they mean Welcome with peace. Let it be so. Okay, I'm going to sing it to you. And then hopefully you can join in in any way you like. Singing, dancing, tapping the beat, maybe drumming along. But let's go ahead and listen first. I'll keep the beat on my body so you hear where it is. Fanga alafia, ashe ashe. Fanga alafia, ashe ashe. Fanga alafia, ashe ashe. Fanga alafia, ashe ashe. Ashe ashe. Ashe ashe. Ashe, 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 ashe. Did you notice any similarities between this song, Fanga Alafia, and Ahalan Wasahalan? Does the music sound the same, or is there a similar pattern? Think about that for a moment. I notice a similar pattern between each song. In Fanga Alafia, we also repeat each line. So this can also be done as an echo song. So I'd like you to help me sing it this time, or again, 
do your own thing if you don't feel like singing. Just do your best. All right, I'll tap the beat again. This time I'll tap on my lap. And I'll sing a line and then you echo. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Ashe ashe. Ashe, 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 ashe. Okay, let's do the whole thing. If you're feeling like tapping and playing some rhythms instead of singing, you don't just have to do a steady beat like this. You could get kind of crazy. So however you want, just enjoy, have fun, feel the beat, feel the beat. Sing it one more time. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Nice. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Fanga alafia ashe ashe. Ashe ashe. Ashe ashe. Ashe, 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 rest. All right. After you are, after I say goodbye and you're done watching this video, there's um, a little YouTube clip, a YouTube video that I have included um, of this song, Fanga Alafia, and it features um, one of the famous African drummers who helped come up with the song, and it features some absolutely amazing African dance. They're dancing the Fanga dance. Let me tell you just a tiny bit about the dance. Uh, the song and dance, you'll um, see some of the hand movements motioning up and then motioning down. So tapping the chest up and then down. And what I've read about this song is that um, they're calling to the sky and calling to the earth. You don't have to watch the whole video. Feel free to just watch a couple of minutes. Um, and if you'd like to watch the whole thing, then of course go for it. The quality isn't great. Um, there is a couple little glitches, but I really think it's worth it. It's pretty neat. Okay, Green Lake Dragons, I'll see you next time for more vocal music. Bye.